Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Michael Krinsky here again, and I'm gonna change things up a little bit because I'm feeling kind of crazy today. So instead of giving you my competitors' best backlinks, I'm gonna give you my process to find your competitors' best backlinks all for free because I know a lot of these services like Ahrefs and Moz and Majestics cost a lot of money, like $100, $150 per month. And I know a lot of digital marketers don't have that kind of money hanging around when they're beginning. So I'm gonna show you how to use all those services to find your competitors' best backlinks all within a couple minutes. So let's jump right in and let me show you how. All right, so let's start right from the beginning. I'm gonna find a competitor. I'm gonna have my keywords set already, but I'm gonna find a competitor and then find its best backlinks. And I'm gonna show you how to get that all for free by using different open link directories. So the first one, the most, the best one in my opinion is Ahrefs right here. So for this case study, I'm gonna do best Christmas ornaments is the keyword I'm looking for. And I don't really like to use Google for this as a, that's a kind of like an oxymoron, but I use start page, which is, it uses Google's index, but it clears all your personal information. I mean, you can do the same thing with the Google index by adding PWS equals zero at the end of the query, but I find this more complete because it works much easier. So I search here, best Christmas ornaments, and everything here will be a private result because I don't like, let's search, if I search the same thing in Google, I'll show you the difference between the results here something's the first one's a Chicago because I'm in Chicago and there's nothing in Chicago in here so right there that shows you a different index so I'm looking at the start page and I recommend using start page for any keywords or any searches you're doing to see things not biased by your own personal results so here I'm gonna look for a competitor that is not very popular I'm looking for a competitor that's highly ranked within the first three pages or two pages that's not like a brand name so I know they actually did SEO to get there so I see Brit.co I'm not really sure about that everything else here looks like a big brand apartment therapy looks like a decent one but that's kind of a big brand already so I'm gonna go to the second page I don't see anything really like a mom-and-pop store yet um, best products. This could be a good one. I've never heard of that one. Good housekeeping, Ellen Decor, Target. Nothing really perfect. That first one might be okay in the second page. But let's go to the third page. It's nothing here. And I think I found one. Christmas Place. I've never heard of that. And it's on the third page of a highly trafficked niche for best Christmas one, which is really, really hard to get on. So we're going to go into Ahrefs. You have to sign up for a free account you get like three or four searches every day with a free account. So that's how we're going to get this for free because I think Ahrefs costs like $100 per month if you get like the full version, which I really recommend. If you have more than one site, this is not going to be the best strategy in the world. But if you have one site, just by using like the 10 different free open site directory trial accounts, you can get plenty of links just that way without paying that $100 per month. So let's look. So I looked at here. It looks like it. This is good. I want something in the million range of ARS because I know that's attainable by like a, a mom and pop shop. So let's look at backlinks. If you click on backlinks right here, it'll show you the top backlinks. If you click on any other ones, it'll show you the new lost, uh, broken. So here looks like one of their authors, Janet D. Janet D. So I'll look for Janet D. Because I'm trying to find out where, so they just did a comment with the link to their website. So this is attainable, perfectly attainable for me. So I'm going to see how you sign up for this. This kind of looks like a WordPress, so we'll see. But the article comments are closed. That stinks for us. It's good for them. Uh, they got a Wikipedia link, which is no follow, so it's not even worth getting right now. Looks like they have a lot of blog spot spam, which is very easy to get. You can just hire people to post on different blog spots but surprise that they're see this is the same thing one of my competitors spam competitors just has blog spot spam and they're listing high this makes no sense Google would have seen this like three or four years ago Google would have penalized the site but no not anymore okay salty spee society let's check this out see if it's a good match I've never heard of this and this looks like it's just another blog site a blogger site blog spots by site oh no they actually have a link in the post which is hard to get but let's see how their comments look 
so their comments are all spam that's a good sign if you want to get a link onto here so right here you can get a link on a Christmas post and some blog so that's a decent place to get a link so we found one good link right there and that's a good day's work so but the whole thing is you can only do three searches every day so like if you want to look at different competitors and see their stuff you'd be out of luck you can only look at three things with a free account so that's what I'm gonna share with you guys is seven uh, open site directories I'll put a link into this in the description of all these ones right here so we have Ahrefs, Moz, Majestic, Cognitive SEO, Rank Signals, Small SEO Tools, and Backlink Watch. So all these ones have open site directories with a certain amount of free searches per day. So if you do seven, and let's say each one has three, so you have 21 free searches a day on any of your competitors to get a bunch of backlinks, that's plenty for one website. So no need to shell out $99 per month besides just checking three different searches on each one of these websites it's also good to check your competitors and your own backlinks on each of these services because they all have different results so all can give different backlinks and all give different opportunities so i really recommend using all of these for any new keyword research or competitor research you're doing so i'm just going to show you how two of these work like moz and ahrefs and the rest of you guys i'm sure you can figure out yourself it's the same process you click on backlinks and you'll see what backlinks your competitors have so let's look at Moz right now the same exact site we did you'll see that the results are a little bit different I haven't checked this so I'm not exactly sure but I'm pretty sure it's um, gonna be different but Moz I like because it shows you the spam score so it shows you this website is very little spam zero which is incredible which is great and already we have different results different backlinks but that's not not the point of this video the point of this video is trying to find these different uh, link opportunities by using these open site directories because this is the bread and butter of SEOs these different services there's so many so but this video I'm gonna keep just the open site directory so you can find competitors backlinks so yeah so that's how you use open or uh, Moz you just search it in and right away it shows you the inbound inbound links because I think I have a link to the to the no open site explorer but um so I'll add all these to the description so you'll have seven different places to get uh, your links from your competitors pretty for free every month without paying that hundred dollars so this is gonna be incredibly beneficial to any SEO person working right now because um, you're gonna get a lot of links just by using these websites so I highly recommend just starting out and looking at your top competitors looking at all your keywords and finding what your competitors are doing through these websites um, so that's pro probably a really good place to start your SEO campaign if you're looking for more complete tips like I said before, I have courses on Udemy and I'll leave a coupon code to that in the description below where you can uh, enroll that class for much cheaper and you'll learn different tips and tricks like this because I think this video I'm going to include in a future course. So you guys are getting a really good um, tip right here by having these seven different open site directories because I couldn't find anything online about a compiled list of all these free open site directory trial. So um there you go guys a great resource for your SEO and I'll be back shortly with another video and I'm gonna try to do another video with resource links like this with res uh, actual resource instead of the finding backlinks kind of thing but then in a couple months I'll be back with another finding backlinks because you guys are all doing a really good job with that stuff my spam competitors are completely gone and I'm on the top of uh, Google again so I'm really happy about that and I want to share the wealth and share the resources so you guys can be good at SEO too. So until next time, uh, happy link building. See you guys.